Hi everyone, Wismaril here. Today we're back with another video where I'm going to walk you through all the bugs that are related to ball lightning. The insane amount of damage that ball lightning produces during season 2 is not due to the new vampiric powers added, well in part it is but that's not all, it's not like the reason is not this build has been buffed so that it's more viable in season 2. It is the result of two different bugs. Two different bugs that have a very huge impact on the damage output of ball lightning. Alright, let's start from the beginning. It all started when it was announced during the patch notes of season 2 that there would be a fix on the tooltip of ball lightning, not the damage values, not, not the way the skill works, just the tooltip. Because they thought the tooltip was uh, erroneously displaying information and they wanted to like make it a little bit more clear on how it works, okay? So um, the way that the, this worked before uh, season two was that uh, ball lightning was dealing 18% damage per tick and it was ticking 3.33 times per second. Therefore, the total damage per second, the DPS, was 49.95%. All right? This is how it was uh, working before season 2 and that's how it was displayed. Now, <laughs> what did they change during season two? Well, all they wanted to do was to change, the, like the tooltip was saying, you deal 18% uh, damage and it was not even mentioning the number of ticks per second. So over here, if you would go over here before season two, it would just say discharge ball lightning that slowly blah, 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 zapping enemy for 18% damage. And uh, what they did this patch, or at least what they tried to do, was they wanted to put the value of the damage per second, not per tick. So they put 60% in the tooltip. So far, so good. Now, what did they mess up? Well, they changed, they didn't change the tooltip, they changed the damage value. It's now doing 59.94% damage per tick times 3.33 uh, ticks per second. So we can have a look of, on, on how much that's going to do. Uh, that, that's a lot more, like uh, 59.94 times 3.33. <laughs> it now deals 199.6% per second from the, you know, 60 uh, percent damage per second. So that's a huge buff. So the first uh, damage buff, like the first bug damage buff, is a multiplier of 3.33, which is huge. It's like having a legendary power, a hidden one or a new one, if you will, on a new equipment uh, gear slot, I mean, that would say uh, increase the, the damage of ball lightning is increased by 333%. Those values belong in Diablo 3, not in Diablo 4. In Diablo 4, we're used to values like, oh, I can buff the damage by 15% or by 30. Oh, look at this one. It's a 45%. There's even uh, um, a power that buffs the um, damage over time by 80%. If I put it on a two-handed staff, that's 160%. That's amazing. But th there's no buff that says 333%. Wait, there's more. That's the first bug. There's a second one that is with the enhanced ball lightning. So that's the second thing they, <laughs> they were trying to fix, like the, the tooltip. But they didn't fix the tooltip. So uh, how does enhanced ball lightning works? Um, so you see um, the, uh, the rate at which the ticks happen scales with your bonus attack speed. But to compensate, at least before season two, the total damage was reduced. To put it shortly, it means that you were attacking faster 
more often, more frequently, but you were doing less damage. If you were attacking uh, three times faster, every hit would deal one third of the damage. This was done in a way that um, you would like, what, what would you gain from this? You would just try to proc lucky hit chance more often with this node. That's my understanding of it. Uh, attacking, like I mean, hitting more often, more frequently would result in more hits, therefore more chance to score a lucky hit. That's what it was meant to do. And as a result, to keep it balanced, balanced is a tough word to use in Diablo at the moment, but to keep it under check, the total damage would not be changed. You would just attack faster, more often, but your total damage per second would not be changed. Beef, that was before season two. Because with season two, um, they made a mistake. Uh, they made it now that um, your uh, total damage uh, is is uh, unmodified. Like if you hit three times faster, you don't do one third of the damage per hit. You just hit three times faster period. So that's the other way. That's the second bug. That's the other way they messed up with uh, ball lightning. So now you could you, you can scale um, the um, like maximum the, the attack rate. You can scale it to the cap. So uh, before season two and during season two, the cap for the maximum uh, ticks per second uh, didn't change. It still caps at 10. It's just that now when you reach the cap, it's not going to divide your hits per 10. It's just going to scale it all the way. And you know, in season two, there is a new vampiric power that can scale your, that can increase your bonus attack speed up to 80%. <laughs> So, you know, with this, uh, like being uh, times two on your bonus attack speed, just having 150% bonus attack speed times two is um, three, uh, three times faster. And that's how you would reach the cap of uh, 10. So you just need 150% bonus attack speed from all the uh, sources you can get. And if you do that, well, congratulations, my friends. You are uh, like making the most out of the second buff, uh, second bug, and it's a damage buff of times three. It's like having another legendary that says the damage of ball lightning. If you, of course, like reach the um, attack speed cap, is increased by three hundred percent. That's huge. Three hundred here and 333 over here for like two different uh, legendaries. Anyway, if you combine those two uh, multipliers, uh, 3.33 times three, that's 9.99. Let's round it up to, uh, to 10. And uh, times 10 multiplier on <laughs> in Diablo 4, it's like having a new legendary power that would say, uh, it's season two bug legendary power. It's invisible. You don't even need to equip it. It says it's an offensive power. Ball lightning deals times 1000% <laughs> increased damage. 1000% belongs in Diablo 3, not in Diablo 4. You know, you're excited with your, oh, I can have a 160% damage multiplier. That's the maximum I can get on an external multiplier. Well, guess what? Now you have access to a multiplicative 1000%. So this is very big. So that's what you're getting. This is why ball lightning damage is insane. It is not due to a buff in season two of the skill or of some legendary powers here and there to make it more viable. It is the result of two bugs, right? Um, don't worry, you can still play that till season three because uh, Joe Shelley said over here, we are glad players are having fun <laughs> in Diablo 4 season of blood and we have no plans to nerf it. So now they are not going to nerf anything. So they are not 
I, I understand it this way. They are not going to correct the bugs. Okay, so you can use that for as long as you want in season two. It's uh, and, and by the way, it, it's fine with me. Like the sorcerer was not the best class. Like, I mean, it, it was one of the last classes during uh, preseason and season one. And now it shines because of a bug, I know, but it shines. So it's a fun class to play. You can melt any boss, wall boss or lead it in like seconds, tens of seconds, or maybe a minute or two maximum if it comes to lead it. So have fun with that build. It's not gonna get nerfed. Don't panic, don't rush it because you think tomorrow it's gonna be gone. It's not gonna be gone. Score those skills on Lilith, uh, like evaporate any world boss you see in seconds. I think I saw Rax doing it in 10 to 20 seconds, something like that. So that was really funny. So, uh, you know, use it, have fun. And in season three, they are going to introduce the uh, leaderboards. So when they introduce the leaderboards, I think they will be more careful with those things. But now they just want everyone to have fun. So just enjoy yourself. Roll a sorcerer, like gear it with the ball lightning, which by the way, the um, build guide for the ball lightning is coming next. It's one of my next videos that I'm working on. And you can use that if you want to assemble the build and have a lot of fun in Sanctuary. It is due, we're done with the nerf, nerfs, and let's just have fun with what is overpowered in a bugged uh, fashion. Okay, <laughs> this was Whisperil signing off. Have fun in Sanctuary. Bye, see you in the next video.